Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick tip today about some little setting that I found in Windows 10 that many of you might find useful, especially if you have slightly more experienced eyes. As you can see, I'm wearing my regular presentation and driving glasses, but I also have, of course, my contact lenses, which are not in yet today, and also my computer slash reading glasses, which my kids call my Harry Potter glasses. And of course, when things are bright, you gotta wear shades. So as you can see, I got all this stuff going on because what's happened is my eyes aren't quite as good as they used to be. And because of that, I found a setting in Windows 10 that you might actually find very useful, especially if you're having trouble finding and seeing some of the fonts in some of the programs that you're using on a typical Windows computer. So let me show you what I mean. So as I mentioned, for a lot of people, it's sort of hard to see the small text in programs like Microsoft Outlook. Look at the size of these fonts. And one of the issues that I've run into as a professional speaker on these topics is sometimes like when I'm doing a presentation in front of a large room, and I have this up on the screen, people actually struggle in the audience seeing some of these fonts. So I did a little bit of searching and I happened to come across this. Check this out. I'm going to go into settings in Windows and I'm going to go into display settings. And inside of display settings, right here on the front panel, scale and layout, change size of text apps and other items. 100% is recommended, but look at this. They have an upsize to 125. And watch what happens right here. Just watch this screen. Boom. Whoa, that's a lot bigger. And check this out. Watch this. I'll go back to Outlook now. You go back to Outlook, look what that did. Now this is much easier. And actually what I've started to do is not only am I occasionally using this depending on how tired my eyes are that morning so I can see my screen better, I'm using this in presentations to just make it a lot easier for people to be able to see the screen. So this can work really well. And actually, if you take a look at this, check this out. It works in other programs too. This is um, Microsoft Excel. And as you can see, the top headers are much larger. Now watch what happens when I switch back. I'm gonna go back to settings and turn it back to 100%. So now we're back to that screen font and watch what happens to Excel. Wow, that's a big difference. And so as you can see, with this information here, basically, when you make this kind of change, you give yourself an opportunity to very quickly make it much easier, more accessible, not only for you, but maybe for people around you if you're doing a presentation. And so I wanted to share this tip. Once again, how do you get to it? Just come into your settings, go into display, and then change your scale and layout up to 125%. It's really that simple, but you may find it as something that will work very nicely for you when it comes to making it easy for you and maybe people around you to see your screens just a little bit better. And, and now I'm gonna close this thing up. I'd like to thank you for your time. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about me and my programs on time management, email management, Outlook usage, Google and smartphone, uh, usage and also my new programs in greatly reducing distraction and once again finding your focus and productivity go on to my website randalldean.com uh, and of course maybe subscribe to my videos here on youtube and as a matter of fact a little bonus offer for all of you taking the time to watch today's video i actually have a baker's dozen of productivity articles tip sheets and other little items they're all about two to four pages long in electronic pdf format if you'd like to get all of those, just send me an email at randy at randaldean.com and put YouTube PDF in the subject line, and I'll send you out that information uh, with links to a few of my other YouTube videos, too. Thanks. Hope you had a fun time.